Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video I am going to be testing out the L Magic Hot Air Styler Soft Touch Matte Finish. I picked this up from B&M and it was only £17.99 and these hot air brushes are just so popular at the minute and I have actually used two different ones for the last probably year or so but both of them have broken so I feel like hot air brushes seem to like break fairly quickly break fairly quickly but I'm going to try out this new one I didn't want to spend a fortune on a third one because I'd already bought two before so when I saw this one in B&M I was like I'm going to try that out and I really hope it's good I love the look of it it's L and it's got like a pink handle and a black brush it says it's a one step hair dryer and volumizer uh, it's got a ceramic coated brush which should help with like defrizzing and stuff it's lightweight it's got a 360 degree swivel cord it has a cool low and high heat setting so you can give your hair like a cool shot as well which is really really good so i'm going to open it up and give it a go i have freshly washed my hair and i've left it just to air dry which i quite like to do when i'm going to use a blow dry brush i find with a blow dry brush i can't blow dry it straight from like soaking wet it does need to be kind of half dry to be able to use that I suppose you could but it would just take you so long so if I don't leave it to naturally air dry like I have today I will go over with a hair dryer just on the roots and like on the thick parts of my hair just to kind of half dry it ready to use the hair dryer brush I also just pop on some of this this is the John Frieda Frizzies Daily Miracle Leave-In Conditioner and I really like this one because it's very good for like frizzy hair which I do have um, frizzy hair from having highlights and stuff it has argan oil and coconut oil in it and this one also has heat protectant in it so it kind of does everything in one bottle which I really like because I really don't like applying lots of product on my hair I find it weighs it down it gets greasy quickly so a one step product is perfect for me my hair does feel slightly too wet to use the blow dry styler on so I'm just going to go over with my hair dryer I'm just going to give it a quick blast on a low setting <laughs> Okay, I like to section out my hair, so I'm just going to pick up the top part and then leave about this much left underneath to start drying. Okay, I'm going to open up the box and get my hot air styler out. Okay, this is what it looks like when I open it up and I really, really like the look of it. It feels slightly heavier than the other two that I've had in previously, but it feels very nice quality like it does feel really really good um and it also has two types of bristles on it which i really like it has the longer bristles which are nice for like detangling and then it has these shorter bristles that are good for like styling and smoothing it and when you see ones with two different bristles on i like those ones i think they work better than the ones with just one bristles so it's really really nice it has some like rose gold detailing around it and then it has like the swivel cord like it said and then it has a fairly long uh, lead on it, not like the longest, but I think it'd be absolutely fine for where I'm gonna use it. So um, let me plug it in. So it has three settings on here, one, two, and three. So I'm thinking that three is gonna be the hottest setting. So I'm gonna set it on that. I just find with my hair, I prefer the hottest settings. I do have quite thick, coarse hair, but you can just vary that depending on your hair type. So I'm gonna turn it up to three and just show you how I style it. I'll just explain it before I put it on. So when I use these brushes, I always use them in the right hand and I place my hair on top of the brush and then I twist it round like that. Like as I'm drying it, I twist the brush round. Kind of like how you see the hairdressers doing your hair, just twist and turn it round and this is going to give your ends like a nice flick in but of course if you want to flick it out you could go outwards with it I'll style more towards the end like my fringe and everything so I just like it to kind of be smooth but a little bit flicky so I'll use it to style at the end but for the most of my hair I just want to get it dry and kind of slick and straight so let's um, give it a go oh it sounds very powerful so that's a good start
Okay, and as we can see, that's worked really, really nicely. I absolutely love it. It's worked very quickly. I didn't have to go over too many times before it was completely dry, and it's given me a really nice flick under. The shape of this brush is really nice because you can get like a nice flick from using like this area of the brush. So far, so good. So I'm just gonna carry on and do this off camera, like all of this bit and then a little bit more of the main body of my hair. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna show you like the tops of my hair, my fringe, and how I would use it to style that. Okay, I'm just working on the mid section of my hair now. And when I get to these kind of like thicker parts of hair, I like to pick the hair up right from the root and like pull it out and then twist it. Obviously it works better when it's on, but I like to pick it up, pull it out, and then like twist it into the brush like that. And this just gives you really nice boost from the roots and also adds a little bit of a twist into the hair. Okay, so I'm now moving on to the top section of my hair and I'm basically just gonna do what I did on the mid section and just pick the hair up and pull it backwards, kind of pull it away from my face so then it falls down quite like volumized around my face. And then at the end, I'll do the fringe because as you can see, the fringe is very frizzy and messy, but these just work so nicely on the fringe to make that nice like poofed out, swept around fringe. So I'll do that at the end. Um, I'm just gonna get on and do some more of these parts. And it blew up. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's broken. It literally just went like that and just stopped working. This is the third hot brush that has broken on me. And the first one I got was off Wish, so I kind of expected it because it's not like the most top quality. The second one I bought was a, a nearly 70 pound hot brush, which also lasted, well, that lasted about four months. And then that one stopped. This one has lasted 10 minutes. I don't know if like everything else is working. It's not like it's the plug or anything. I don't know, but at least um, I, can, I have got everything. I can just return it. I don't even know where to put this video up now because I could just be really unlucky with this hot brush. Um, <laughs> I don't know, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, I might put this video up, I might not, but I'm going out, so I need to just finish my hair. Um, that is very, very annoying, like, very disappointed. Um, hopefully I sort of showed you how I use them to style, and I genuinely love using hot brushes. I wish I could just have one that didn't break. So, <laughs> what the hell? So yeah, I don't know, maybe this video was helpful, maybe it wasn't, I never even managed to finish my hair. I might just quickly finish it now and then come back on camera when I've got it all styled and let you know what I think of this tool that's just absolutely broken and doesn't even work on the first time that I've used it. Ollie. Ollie, the hot brush, my new one's just blown up. Really? Yeah, third one. It's not my fault, I'm just using it how you're supposed to. Anyway, okay, I'll be 10 minutes. Okay, well, I finished my hair. I just finished it with my straighteners. The straighteners that I use are the Radiant Shine Diva straighteners. I really like these. And I've had them for years and they haven't blown up, which is amazing, which the same cannot be said for my three hot styling brushes that have blown up over the last four months, I think it is. Um, but anyway, I finished my hair, obviously the straighteners have made it um, really nice and shiny and it's not really finished the video that I was hoping, but I can't help what happened with my brush, it is a review video, the brush has blown up and it doesn't work, so I have to obviously tell you exactly what's happened with the brush. So 
I will say I did genuinely love the feel of the brush. I really liked the way it's styled as well. I love the shape of it and the bristles. And when it was working, I was so happy with it and I was really excited to continue to use it. So if you do have a working one of these, let me know how you get on with it. And if anyone else's one of these has ever blown up because I just wanna know if it's worth me going back to the shop and getting a replacement, which is what I really want to do, um, or just getting a refund. If other people have had the same problem that I've had, um, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'm very disappointed to say that I can't really recommend this to you. If it was working and still working now, I'd be so recommending it because I did really, really like the way it worked and it feels good and it really made my hair shiny. Um, I love the ceramic plate on it. But obviously all of that is no good if the brush isn't actually working so I wouldn't recommend you wasting your money on this um, however it is £17 so if you feel like you want to go into B&M and try it out and you're lucky enough that yours doesn't blow up but then I wouldn't want to recommend something that could possibly be dangerous for you but as you saw it just basically fizzled out like it made a weird noise and then it just fizzled out so there wasn't like an explosion or anything but still um i don't want to recommend something that's dangerous to you anyway i hope you found the review helpful um this is the finished hair look which is obviously not being created by this if i was using this brush my fringe would be all like puffed up and like shaped round which is why i really like using these to style my hair and when i do use these i use them every single day so i'll be on the hunt for another one the fourth hair styler brush in the last six months thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if it helped you at all please give it a thumbs up and definitely consider subscribing if you're not already for more videos like this let me know in the comments anything else you'd like me to try out and review i hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye